Hey everybody, this is Know Your Mac on YouTube.com, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can eject a CD entirely through Terminal. Now you're probably wondering how this could help people. Well, first of all, if you insert a blank CD and you click Ignore when the dialog pops up, it won't appear on your desktop, so you cannot drag it to the trash. Also, if your eject button isn't working, it may be annoying. So, I'm going to take out a CD here. This is a Sony DVD-ROM 120-minute 4.7 gigabytes CD. I'm going to put this into my iMac drive. And I'm just going to wait for this to appear on my desktop. Alright, and untitled DVD. And this is a recordable DVD, but you can just use any CD or DVD, it doesn't really matter. And the terminal code for this is, and I'm going to put this in the description and also watch this in HD to really see it D R U T I L Drew Till space tray space eject. Hit return. And if you notice, my little CD is now gone and it's not here. And it came out properly. Right here, I have it in my hand. Now, a lot of times, it could be annoying for people to do that. And that's because to open terminal, you have to navigate through applications, utilities, blah, blah, blah. So there's an easy way to do it right from your dock without having to type in anything. So I created this simple application called iEject Disks. And I'm just going to run the DMG. And simple DMG file, you can download it in the description. And you get this little folder right here. And you have iEject Disks and iEject Disks voice version. Now, right now, I'm just going to eject this disk image because I have them saved on my drive. And to install them, just drop them onto your desktop. So the first one, I eject disks. Basically, you double click it. It appears in your dock, regular application. It ejects with that same code. And it just gives you this little message saying, your CD should now be ejected from your disk drive. If not, please run the program again. But I've never encountered a problem where it hasn't. And it has automatically quit for me, so I know it worked. Now, I eject disk's voice version is the same thing. I'm not going to run this one, but all it does is it follows the same procedure, but it basically narrates it while it's doing it. And it and it's especially good for visually impaired people. This way, they don't have to click anything. So I'm gonna insert my disc again, same disc as before, my Sony 120 minute C DVD ROM. And while that's loading, I'm just gonna make an alias here. And as you can see, I can just drag it right in my dock. And so now, since I have it in my dock, every time I want to eject it, click on it in my dock, it opens, my disk is now exited, and it waits to display this after the CD comes out. So it doesn't display it right after it runs the code. It waits till the CD is completely and fully exited from your disk drive. And then I just click that and then it quits. And that's all you have to do. So if you want, you can download that DMG file. I will post a link in the description. It's freeware, completely free. And you can just use that whenever you need to. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you subscribe. Thanks.